Hello and welcome back to Quicks 14 Blog, our add-on special, continuing into part 8 as we go over Outfitter, Elk Buff Bars, and Fishing Buddy. Now, Outfitter, for those people, a lot of people know what this is, a lot of people don't. Uh, if you've seen the new uh, equip man Equipment Manager that uh, Blizzard has put in, the default UI, this is basically what it was based off of, was this wonderful add-on name, Outfitter. Now, we thought Outfitter was going to die when this all happened, but they've kept on it. <laughs> Naked. Uh, they kept on it. And as you can see, it's a very powerful, very powerful tool for switching your outfits and everything. By default, it has tons of outfitter buttons, as you can see down there. Um, you simply go turn it on. To bring up the options and everything for outfitter, go to your character sheet. You'll see a little button that you see there. You click on it. It'll bring down this list of outfitter with all the lists that you have and items. Now, by default, there's always a birthday suit and a normal. Normal is automatically done by whatever you're wearing when it first comes in. Birthday suit is completely empty. Um, you have nothing equipped. Options is important. There's quite a few options that are very important. The bar itself that you see down there is by default turned off. You will need to turn it on if you'd like to see your bar down there. Um, there's also a minimap button to show it on the minimap to your right. Outfitter also supports uh, foobar, so you can also see it on your foobar. And there's also a equip compare, which will uh, uh, compare your equipment for you, built into Outfitter. I don't use it since I have another uh, equip compare add-on that I use. So what can you do here? Well, you can easily update your outfits just on normal. Every time you add a new piece, you can set normal by simply clicking on the little drop down going update to current items and clicking yes and you will be updated. You there's many other options you can set up. There's many other bars available. There's um again tons of things put in by default by your class as you go to each one. This is uh, by character basis, not by account basis. So it's very important to remember that when setting up your outfits. You can even add brand new outfits and uh, set them up to script a certain way. By default here for the Druid, you can see um, I have Druid shapeshift options for different outfits. But by mostly by default, the default ones are birthday suit, normal, battlegrounds, riding, and, uh, and, and that's pretty much it. Those are the very, very default ones. Fishing is something that can also be added, but uh, this also goes in with our fishing add-on that I will talk about shortly. Outfitter, Outfitter is a wonderful tool. It's very powerful and can be very uh, overbearing the first time you use it. It's not that hard. Uh, if you don't want to get into depth with it, simply use the normal for your uh, for everything and keep it up to date. Um, I've just recently started really understanding Outfitter now that I'm in raids and dual spec. Dual spec will have a huge handy, and uh, again, you can automatically add new f uh, outfits for your dual specs. You can even set it up to, uh, you know, to uh, sense that and uh, uh, change outfits accordingly. It's very powerful for the different forms. Uh, it's just just a wonderful, wonderful add-on. See, there's also a writing. Outfitter is a wonderful tool. There's, it has, it's just so in depth. Go ahead, download it. Look over its documentation. Uh, look at it. Play around with it. Uh, I think you'll find it much more powerful and convenient than equipment. Uh, the default equipment uh, manager that's put into WoW. And of course, you can download it at all the major UI sites. And now we're going to take a look at Elf Buck ba Elf Elk. Buff bars, excuse me. Elk buff bars is a wonderful tool that can be used to augment it or replace the default buffs. And instead of showing just icons and things of this nature, it'll actually show a list with timers. It's very, very nice. I've I've really found this very helpful in raids in particular, especially in some encounters that gives you specific debuffs to keep an eye out for. As a healer and me being down in that bottom left corner so much. Um, it really, really helps for me to keep track of my buffs and my debuffs while I'm trying to take care of the rest of the group. As you can see, there's many, many options. There are the different bar supports and uh, actually display supports. You can change the alpha of it. You can change the size of it, the font, the uh, the colors, 
Uh, you can even change the name of the bars of each one, uh, and much, much more. You can even add new bars. I haven't tested it, but this means if you have cooldowns in Alchemy or Inscription, I believe you could add those as well. By default, there is three bars. Um, the buffs are always shown by default. The debuffs are hidden, and the um, uh, other bar w that has different options for like when you uh, temporary enchant your weapon or or something of that nature is also hidden by default. They will show up when you get a debuff or one of those things, or you can have them up all the time, just like the the debuffs. I have moved around some things some more, and you'll see that in some of my later videos as well. Uh, elk buff bars is wonderful option. It is very foobar compatible, though I don't believe it's required. I, I believe uh, most of the options that you see here are pretty much there. Um, if you don't have foobar on, it puts a little mini map button, and you can do everything from the mini map button. So not a huge deal, but uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful add-on. I suggest everyone take a look at it, try it out if you're a big reader, or just seeing that you're having trouble trying to keep track of uh, your buffs and your debuffs, especially if you're a healer in groups and you're, you find yourself in one area of the uh, UI most often. Uh, Elk Buff Bars is a huge, huge help for letting you do that. So, highly, highly suggest you get it. Again, you can download this from any other major UI sites. Let's definitely get to it last, but certainly not least, is Fishing Buddy. For anyone who's fishing or has to fish or likes to fish, Fishing Buddy is your best friend. It has tons of options that are very useful for fishing. Probably the most notable and most helpful is the Fast Caps option, or Easy Cast option, which allows you to automatically cast uh, by just simply right-clicking in water. Um, there's many, many different options for using it um, to help things be faster and move more that you want, including auto, automatic, uh, and um, putting your uh, baubles on. It supports both Outfitter and I think some other outfit outfit uh, add-ons, as well as the built-in Blizzard one. So you can decide which one you want to use. If you want to use Outfitter, simply change the add-on to Outfitter, and your fishing uh, thing in Outfitter will show up that you can set it up with. Um, in order to use properly, all you have to do is put your fishing skill, uh, your fishing pole, and whatever bobble you want to use onto your into one of your bars. Any bar will do, and it'll do the rest. Once you're ready, as you'll see here, I'm going to switch to my fishing uh, buddy uh, outfit. And then I'm going to go ahead, as you can see, uh, when you're fishing, it'll show up this display of how long you've been fishing, your total time fishing, uh, your skill, the skill for the area, your buffs that you're getting, and all this. Uh, there's also uh, casting things, including being able to turn up the sound volume automatically when you're fishing so you can hear the bobble better and much more. And once you fish something up, it adds it to the list, to the area, so it makes keeping track of things like that much easier as well. It's a wonderful add-on. I use it extensively for fishing. It'll also keep track of when, uh, you know, how long you have to skill um, with the new skill changes. So it's very, very helpful. Very, very helpful. It has a very fast cast option, so you can just, if you double right click it, uh, in most cases it will fast cast. Lag is equitable here as well, but very, very nice option. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful add on. Anyone who's fishing should have this. Uh, I know there's Fishing Ace out there as well, well, very similar from what I've heard to Fishing Buddy. I prefer Fishing Buddy, but uh, if you don't have any fishing add-on, uh, Fishing Buddy is very easy, uh, very self-explanatory, and it, it, it's just nice. It always shows up in the minimap. There is, a, I believe, a foobar option, but mostly it's in the minimap, so, and it works very, very well integration with uh, Outfitter, if you're using Outfitter, or the Equipment Manager, as uh, again, it supports both. I don't know if it supports any others, you'll have to check itself. You can, of course, find it at all major UI sites, so you definitely want to check that out. And as you can see, as I switch back to my normal outfit, it disappears. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. Um, so that's all for Part 7 of our add-on special. We're, we're definitely getting into the grip of things. Part uh, sorry, part 8 of our add-on special. This is part 8, not 7. 7 was the last one. <laughs> As we're getting into it, coming up next is Gatherer and Gathermate. Very huge add-ons that'll help you a lot. That could be used solo or in concert. Coming up next.